So today I wanna to revisit a device that came out not six months ago or a year ago, but two and a half years ago. And today I wanna to talk about the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5. This is a 13 inch Android, well, it's a Chrome OS tablet that runs Android apps, and that's the insane part. This tablet is one of the most flexible devices that you can get because it runs a desktop operating system that gets seven years of operating system updates, and it also runs Android apps. It can run Linux apps. It comes with a keyboard, and it comes with a kickstand back. So to get all of those things, for what price would you ask? Well, this device actually is on sale right now. Normally it, retails for about 500 bucks, but I've seen this device over and over go on sale for about $370. And if you buy this from Best Buy, which is where you're gonna see the sale, at least as of today, and remember sales do change, but if you do go to Best Buy, you could also find this in open box condition. And I found it open box for about $290 in excellent condition. It was like new. So the fact that I got this from Best Buy for such a good price, I really wanted to talk about this because a lot of you are out there and you're really thinking about all of these new Chrome OS devices coming out. There's new Chrome OS tablets coming out and you might be wondering if you should consider one and you might wonder what's changed over time. So if you look at the Duet 5, what you're going to see is again a very versatile device. It's a device that can do it all. So whenever you do actually prop up this kickstand, what you're going to find is this really, really nice screen. So it's really nice that what you're gonna get here is a Samsung OLED display. So the fact that you get an OLED display here is a really big deal. Another selling point of this tablet, by the way, is the battery life because this does run with a Snapdragon 7C processor. It's the second gen of that. But if you look at that processor, it's very, very efficient. This also has a really big battery. So I'm getting like 12 hours, I would say, 12, maybe 13 hours of battery life sometimes. It could run as low as eight or nine or 10, but this is a tablet with an OLED display with massive battery life. Now, if we look beyond that and look at other parts of the design, you will see there are two speakers, I will say, on both sides, and you'll see a USB-C port on both sides. I love that, and also, you can connect this to a monitor if you do wanna get some work done on a monitor. And I love this kickstand too. It goes back in all different types of positions, which is great. I love the keyboard as well. The keyboard's shockingly good. Now the touchpad is just okay, it works fine. It does what I need it to do. This feels like a normal plastic touchpad, but whenever you're using the keyboard, I was just shocked at how good it was for a portable device. A lot of portable devices have smaller keys on the keyboard or they have some type of compromises, but the track Travel feels very good for a portable keyboard. I really do enjoy it. And it magnetizes the bottom. And again, you get that versatility. You could have a tablet when you want it and you could have a device that's a laptop whenever you need it. And that's what this device is so good at because it runs Chrome OS. Again, it does have seven years of operating system updates because you don't have to worry about the skins. Like a lot of Android phones, for example, Samsung has a skin on top of Android and Motorola has a skin on top of Android for their phones. So Google, whenever they're releasing software updates, well, they have to release them and work with the manufacturers to get those things right. So a lot of these companies don't offer good updates. Well, with Chromebooks, Google handles everything. They don't allow the manufacturers to tinker with the operating system. So that means that you're going to get really, really good update support. And I will post the dates here clearly so you can see it for yourself. But that's gonna be way more software support than you get on an Android tablet. So you're getting way better battery life. You are getting a really nice display, by the way. Again, a very gorgeous, OLED display, it's not the best in the world and the brightness isn't gonna be like a thousand hits or anything like that, but you're gonna get a screen that looks really, really nice because it is OLED. It's gonna be very, very color accurate. That is just super, super impressive. It looks great. Now I wish the resolution was just a little bit better for this display size, but it still looks great. It still is one of the best displays that you could find on a tablet because there's not a lot of tablets out there with OLED displays. So I get there are some that are better and yeah, those Galaxy tabs will have a little bit of a better display, but this still looks incredible, especially when you consider that you could buy this for like under $400 right now. That's absolutely great. So again, it's a 1920 by 1080 resolution, 400 nits of brightness, a really, really nice looking display. But when you go beyond that and go to performance, you're gonna find out that it's a very good performing device, 
but it's not going to be the best of the best. But it's of course going to be trailing some of those laptops with i5 processors and stuff like that. It's not going to be as good as those. And if you compare it to other Android devices out there, like your Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, it is gonna lag behind a little bit. But it's going to be sort of like a mid-range tablet as far as performance. So it's not gonna be like a low-end device, like the original Chromebook Duet. It was a lot slower. It's gonna be better than that. It's gonna be better than the Asus CM3 or the Asus CM30 that's out there now. So it's going to give you some good, decent performance. In fact, whenever I'm using this, I'm able to go from app to app and everything does look very, very smooth. It only does get overloaded every once in a while when I'm doing a bunch of stuff at once or when I have eight, nine, 10 tabs open or something. But on this eight gigabyte of RAM model, I'm able to very quickly go back and forth between things and I'm able to use Android apps just fine. So the fact that you could use Android apps, but the one thing I like is that you get a full desktop version of Chrome. So unlike a Android tablet, for example, you could actually go to a website and create a shortcut which will actually create for you an app. It actually adds that to your apps. So now you have a web app compared to something like an Android app and you can actually have your choice as far as which one you want. So you don't have to deal with adding a shortcut to your home screen, for example, like you do on Android. Instead, you could actually have your shortcut that goes right into your apps and you have those web apps for pretty much anything you desire. So Chrome OS, it gives you what I like to call versatility. And it gives you way more versatility than you would get on almost any device out there. Now, no, it's not going to be able to run full Windows programs. And if you wanna use Microsoft Office 365, and if you wanna pay that subscription, Technically, you can. Of course, the Android app, it's not quite as good as something like a Windows program, or if you use it on the web, it's not gonna be as good either. But the point is, it does work just fine. But I like to use this for Google Docs. That's what this is really for. It's for those people who wanna use the web to get productive. If you wanna type out some documents, if you wanna take some notes for college, technically, this will work with a stylus. You just have to get a USI stylus. So you could buy any USI 1 or USI 2 pin Either one will work with this device just fine. So this device is so good for taking notes for class. It's so good for typing out papers. It's so good for that productive work that you wanna do if you wanna use the web. But if you also wanna get some other things done, maybe you wanna download some Linux things, you can technically do that. It's not gonna have a ton of power to really get it done in a strong way. But if you have some basic Linux programs, it will be able to run those. And if you wanna go on the Android side, you could have Android apps going. You have a lot of different options. So I love what Chrome OS has done here. They fixed a lot of bugs that I really don't like. And right now they're giving you some really versatile devices. And almost every single tablet that comes out seems to come with a keyboard case and with a cool kickstand on the back. So the fact that you get that kickstand, the fact that you do get a keyboard with it, and the fact that you're getting that on almost every tablet that comes out on Chrome OS, that's amazing. I wish some of these Galaxy tabs and all of these Android tablets, I wish some of them came with that too. I know some do, but the point is I love that we're seeing that on so many Chrome OS devices, we get that versatility that we love. That's who this device is for. I still think a lot of you should consider it. Just keep in mind there are some newer devices coming out soon. I would expect, if I'm gonna guess, I would say this year at some point, we're probably going to get some type of Lenovo Chromebook Duet sequel. In some fashion, I'm just guessing from all the rumors I'm seeing, we'll probably get another one and it will probably come with a MediaTek processor. I'm just guessing maybe it'll come with a Snapdragon one, but we'll probably get a faster processor than we have here. And a lot of you are clamoring for that. Just remember, that that device will probably cost about $500. So if you see that for five or $600, I know eventually it will go on sale, but even if it goes on sale, it might be 450 or 400, and it's gonna take a while to get there. So you could get this device right now for under $300 if you buy it open box. Again, I will have links in the description. And when you do that, you're probably gonna end up like me. In most of those cases, you're gonna find a device that's only been used a few times. My battery only had three cycles on it. It looked like it was in mint condition. And now I have a device that could last me for like 10, 11, or 12 hours. It's got great battery life. The performance is close. It's not there. It is a step down for sure, but it's close. It's almost like on a Galaxy Tab S9 FE level. And to get that type of performance, but to get an OLED display, and to get a keyboard and kickstand and to get all the things that you get with this, 
I think it's such a cool device. In fact, this is a really good device to consider if you are looking to get a tablet. And if you're wanting something versatile, just remember it can't run those Windows programs and that's one of the big downfalls. And remember that it's gonna be a little harder to use it on your lap because it is a detachable device. It's not something like an Apple device with like your Magic Keyboard and it's gonna be a little flimsier on the lap. But if you could get over those things, you're gonna have a tablet when you want it, a laptop when you want it, you're gonna get a device that lasts a really long time, the battery life is gonna be so good, and it's just very, very efficient with a really, really good screen, and it's a great value. But if you look on the used market, remember on eBay or places like that, a lot of those devices might be two years old, the fabric covers on those might be a little bit dirty, or they might have some old dirt or dust on them. So there are some drawbacks to buying used depending on where you're buying, but there are so many good values out there right now with this device on the new market, even on the open box market, if you look carefully at Best Buy or some other places. So I would recommend the Duet 5 for those of you looking for a good tablet in this price range, but I also would not be disappointed in you or anything if you waited because there are gonna be some really cool Chrome OS tablets coming out eventually, but that also also means it's actually a pretty good time to buy this because you could get a lot of great deals. So hopefully this review has helped you out in some fashion. Please give this video a like and give it a sub. That would mean a lot to my channel. Another thing you could do that would mean a lot is honestly, well, following my channel by, well, just watching a lot of other videos, right? And checking those links in the description as well. That's another great way to support me. So I hope you really enjoy yourself out there. I know life can be crazy. So I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you have a great day. And I really do hope you enjoy your week.